Hi there. Welcome to my very first YouTube video. Uh, I was thinking today, should I blow something up or should I just do a tutorial? Well, my wife thought the tutorial might be a little safer. Personally, I think it'd be more fun to blow something up, but whatever. Anyway, she's my wife. We're going to go with the tutorial. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to start with teaching you binary uh, and converting it to uh, decimal. And then when we're done with that, we're going to convert the decimal number back to binary. Let's get started. Let's see. Right here. Okay. Uh, binary number, as you probably have already seen, is uh, basically a number that consists of one and zeros. That's it. Ones and zeros. So you have one, 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 zero, one, and base two which is binary so I put the little notation there for 2 and notice the little notation for 10 which is a base 10 number system that's for decimal um, what I've done here is it's a weighted number system and in every weighted number system each position has its own weight like a decimal number uh, you have a ones place a tens place a hundreds place thousands ten thousands and, and just keeps going on well you have the same thing in binary too just going to be a little bit smaller increments. Um, but you have 1's place, 2's place, 4's place, 8's place, 16's place, 32. It's powers of 2. Uh, what that means is it basically it just keeps uh, doubling. That's it. So you just keep doubling the numbers until you get the main numbers you need to represent that particular binary number. Um, also, another thing I should tell you too is that uh, when you're going to do places, let's say you're not just dealing with binary, let's say you're dealing with hexadecimal or octal, um, you're not going to be just doubling like 16, like say you got base 16, you're not going to go 1, 16, 32, that's not how you're going to do it. <clears throat> you need to learn the fundamental of what you're doing here is you're multiplying by 2. So 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16. Therefore, if you were working with hexadecimal, it would be, you know, 1 times 1, well, 1, whatever. 1 times 16, 16, and then it would be 16 times 16, 256, 512, or something. Anyway, I'll get to that tutorial later. But you have to understand, so we're basically doing multiples of 2. We're multiplying by 2 for a binary number. So we have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. Um, what we're going to do is every time you see a 1, you're going to be basically multiplying 1 by its placeholder. So 1 times 32, 1 times 16, 1 times 8, 1 times 4, 0 times 2. Get nothing out of that. 1 times 1. That's what you do. Um, so you see a 1 here, we got 32. 1 here, we got a 16. 1 right here, we got an 8, 4, 1. We don't count the 2 because we got a 0. And we got this whole column, this row, and we add this up, we got 61 in decimal. Then, let's go to the next problem. Um, we have 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 equals 106 in decimal. Um, 64, we got a 1, so we put 64 down. 32, yeah, we got that. Uh, 16, we don't have. 8, yes, we do have that. Uh, 4, uh, damn phone, sorry about that. 4, no, don't have it. Two, yeah, we got that. And zero for the one. No, we don't have that. So 64 plus 32 plus 8 plus 2. Bam. Right there you go. 106 in decimal. That's how you convert a binary number to decimal. Now, let's get another look at my wallpaper and uh, go and convert a decimal number back to uh, binary. Huh? God, I like my wallpaper. I got a really cool wife. You know, she lets me have this kind of wallpaper on here. I'm a lucky guy. I'm telling you, I am very lucky. Uh, let's see, uh, decimal two, where we got it? Decimal and binary. All right, make it a little bigger. All right, let's take the decimal number 256. Whenever you're going to convert a decimal number into uh, another number system, another weighted number system, uh, you're going to divide it by that number system's weight, and you're going to take that remainder, and that's going to be a digit. In your uh, in your new number, in your, what are your converted number? So, <clears throat> 256. We're going to divide it by two because binary is base two, and we're going to have a result of 128 with a remainder of zero. We're going to take 128 and we're going to divide that by two, and we're going to get 64 
remainder of 0. We're going to take 64, we're going to divide that by 2, and we're going to get 32, we're going to have a remainder of 0. And we're going to continue dividing all the way down until we can't divide anymore, which is going to be 0. Once we get to the bottom, we're going to go over here to the right, and we're going to go, okay, this is where my number starts. Uh, from the bottom up, maybe left to right. So, 1 here, 1 here, and then we go 0, 0, 0 all the way up, 0, 0, 0 all the way across, uh, equals 256 base 10. That's it. Uh, let's, go, let's see here, we got 181. 181 divided by 2, remainder is 1. Uh, result 90, 90 divided by 2, result uh, remainder 0. 45 divided by 2, remainder 1. 22 divided by 2, remainder 0. See what I'm saying? We go all the way down, we got 0 here. We go start at the bottom, work our way up from left to right. 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. You see what I'm saying? Equals 181 in decimal. Okay? Um, that's it. That's how you convert <clears throat> your binary numbers to. Wow. Man, damn phone. Anyway, that's how you convert binary number to decimal, decimal to binary. In my next tutorial, we're going to be teaching you how to do hexadecimal, two decimal, and, uh, and, uh, and we're going to do octal as well. And in the last tutorial, I'm going to show sure you guys some shortcuts. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed it today. And eventually we will blow something up. I promise. Catch you later.